Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, DAR shows off their TBM aircraft at Sun and Fun, Swift Fuels can replace 100 low lead avgas in many airplanes, Rotax is ready to go with their 915 IS engine. I'm Brie Cross, it's April 8, 2016 and this is Airborne Unlimited. DAR has unveiled the expanded selection of its TBM Very Fast Turboprop aircraft family, which now consists of the TBM 900 and the TBM 930 version. As a function of this unveiling, DAR's TBM 930 made its North American debut at Sun and Fun, and Jim Campbell was there to find out more. Tell us what the 930 brings to the mix. It's a big day, and the TBM 900 is the brother of the TBM 900. So basically, we start a new product line here at Sukata. What is unique about the 930 above and beyond the 900? The difference between the 900 and the 930 is essentially uh, with the user interface. The 900 had this keypad, the traditional keypad that we all have seen on the G1000. The G3000 is bringing the new uh, landscape layout the, of the touchscreens, GTC 580s. Now you talked about a concept for you called EcoPilot in which the Garmin offers a number of options for a pilot to manage the intricacies of a tough flight environment. We have entered the world of uh, talking to machines and hearing machines. Uh, we also have a lot of automation. Uh, our systems are capable these days. What is unique as an aircraft manufacturer is to try to have everything combined together. That's what we call the EcoPilot. The EcoPilot basically is mixing an angle of attack information away. It will take the great system from Garmin, the electronic stability protection, the underspeed protection, and the emergency descent mode so that you can basically have virtually an electronic co-pilot taking care of safety for you. I think uh, when you are going to demonstrate the aircraft, you're going to see what it is when an aircraft manufacturer is really taking the systems and trying to make them smoothly transition one uh, after another. And so basically, no matter what you do, there is no mistakes. As the aviation industry continues to move towards a drop-in replacement for 100 low-lead avgas, Swift Fuels has launched a new unleaded aviation fuel with a motor octane number referred to as MON94. They call it UL94 and ANN's Tom Patton went straight to the source at Sun and Fun. Bree, a drop-in replacement for 100 low-lead fuel has kind of been the holy grail for the aviation industry for some time. Recently, two companies were selected for phase two testing of a 100 low lead fuel. One of those was Swift Fuels. But as a transition, they've introduced another new fuel that will help get through to 2018 when that certification is expected. We talked to Swift Fuels CEO Chris DaCosta about that new fuel. So we have a product called UL94. It's a 94 motor octane aviation gasoline. It's being sold nationwide. We started, uh, we launched the program back at Oshkosh 2015. Uh, right now we've got people flying the fuel from Idaho to New York State, from Michigan down to Florida, pilots from all over the country that are actively using the fuel. Uh, the reason people like it, obviously it's unleaded avgas. It's not like autogas in the sense that it's higher performing, higher motor octane, lower vapor pressure, uh, no gum forming compounds. It's managed to a relatively premium state. Uh, it's commercially insured for aviation, which most autogas is not. So a lot of the light sport pilots like that, the autogas STC pilots like that. Then you've got another tranche of aviation gasoline aircraft like Cessna 172Rs and S's and Piper Seminoles and a whole bunch of others. So we have on our website a place you can go for those kind of 91 motor octane aviation gasoline engines. You can buy an STC for that. That group plus the light sports plus the autogas STCs, if you add them all up, it's about 60 plus percent of the U.S. fleet that can fly this 90 for fuel. Swift Fuels has made a distribution deal with AvFuel and DaCosta says that the fuel is competitively priced. For Airborne, I'm Tom Patton. After the break, Rotax adds horsepower. Are you stall smart? 
Ever since Orville and Wilbur took to the skies, pilots have been taught that the more airspeed you have, the better off you are. But over the last 100 plus years, we've learned that's not always the case. Take stalls, for example. The common belief is that if you have sufficient airspeed, the aircraft won't stall. The fact is, an airfoil always stalls at the same critical angle of attack in relation to the relative airflow, regardless of airspeed, configuration, or weight. Learn more at aspenavionics.com. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Welcome back. If you would like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. Not all first flight stories are about airplanes. In this case, the big news is about a new engine that Rotax is bringing to the market for light aircraft. The new Rotax 915 IS is bound to make an impact in the light airplane and helicopter regimen. During the press conference at Sun and Fun, Rotax gave an update on the development of their 135 horsepower Rotax 915 IS, a four-stroke, four-cylinder turbocharged aircraft engine. The engine is scheduled for serial production second half of 2017. The target market will be high-performance two- and four-seat aircraft, small helicopters, and large gyrocopters. Rotax says this engine has the best power-to-weight ratio in its class. It carries full takeoff power up to 15,000 feet, has a service ceiling of 23,000 feet, and has better fuel efficiency due to the electronic fuel injection. It's also expected that this engine will be looked at very closely by aircraft home builders. After these messages, Sporty's Learns to Fly Courses gets better. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Cub Crafters is unique in that we can design, prototype, and certify and put into production an aircraft. There aren't very many companies in the world that can make that claim. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Sporties has once again improved on its already award-winning Learning to Fly course with dozens of additions. All new HD video segments were added for nearly 20 learning topics covering the gamut from the ground operation to flight maneuvers. In a research project, systems are being tested that will automatically prevent planes from colliding in flight. During testing an actual UAV in flight, use technology to detect, track, and avoid a Cessna 172. The system can also provide warnings and commands for action. Hilton Software has announced its new Wing X nonlinear warping technology. This new technology enables its Wing X Pro 7 to geo-reference departure procedures and standard terminal arrival procedures and is released as part of the Wing X Ingenuity Initiative. Spaceport America and Exos Aerospace Systems and Technologies have announced a five-year launch partnership for their suborbital active rocket with guidance vehicle. Exos is the first company to benefit from Spaceport America and Mars Scientific's new first flight, first sight promotion. 
If you're planning to watch the International Aerobatic Club U.S. National Championship competition in Texas this September, it's your last chance. The club announced that they will be moving the U.S. Nationals to Whitman Regional Airport in 2017. Yep, that's another major air event for Oshkosh. Well, that's the trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. U.S. Senators Jim Inhofe and Cory Booker have introduced an amendment to the Federal Aviation Administration Reauthorization Act that would ensure operators of critical infrastructure are able to use unmanned aircraft vehicles to assist with compliance of existing federal regulations and to respond to natural disasters. Senator Inhofe said in part, quote, My bipartisan amendment will allow companies to use drones in order to best guarantee their services are meeting federal regulations or to more quickly respond to disruptions caused by natural disasters. Senator Booker added, quote, from inspecting pipelines to protecting energy resources, this amendment directs the FAA to establish clear rules of the road that allow our country to move safely and efficiently into the 21st century and reap the vast benefits of this technology. The amendment includes all aspects of critical infrastructure networks and allows the use of UAVs for compliance with state or local government regulations and industry best practices in addition to federal regulations. It also ensures electric energy infrastructure owners and operators will be able to participate. The proposed amendment is receiving broad support from the UAS industry. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us and a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource. Have a great weekend. We will see you Monday.